evening, brothers and sisters. Yes, another duo, <laughs> Ida and myself. Or should I say Ida? She's done all the notes for this week. And I'm, I've got the notes. And to be honest, I couldn't uh, get around to studying them. And I should have done, to be honest with you, because I find them quite amazing. Um, but it's, 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 the, as the title says, it's exploring the Antichrist, because these are one of the things that we should be looking at if we're going to go through the tribulation. Bear in mind, brothers and sisters, we're pre-trib rapture. We're waiting for rapture. We don't intend to be there when the Antichrist comes to power. That's for sure. But Jesus said the Antichrist is indeed here now. So he's been around for at least 2,000 years. And I'd probably say right back to Eve. Okay, Adam and Eve. But Laurie, you've done a great work. I've got three pages. I haven't got them in front of me. But um, you, you've done a lot of work on this, haven't you? And, and it's come out. And it's all scriptural, isn't it? Oh, yeah. 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 It's mostly from Daniel. But, yeah, it's all I've found the scriptures. And to, that, that's, so. well, that's the most important thing. It's because we, we've found and we should all be open minded about what's going on in the book of revelation daniel's dreams and all that because we don't know we are all bereans on certainly this channel and anyone watches this video is a berean and where to search and find out and you guys have always said bring everything now we know to the table that's what you want so we're just going to do it. so stay open-minded about it and um just hope we can land on seeing something that's manifesting before our going home uh, to give us an indicator and to keep our lamps there. Ida, over to you, sis. Over to you. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Well, I'll let you know what, uh, I'll just read from my notes. Yeah. If that's okay. Oh, lovely. Yeah. In Daniel 9, 26, it refers to the Antichrist as the ruler of the people to come, meaning that he will be of a royal lineage of the race that destroyed Jerusalem. Historically, this was the Roman Empire. Therefore, he will be primarily Roman. Mm -hmm. In Daniel uh, verses 31 through 40, uh, historically, the head of gold represents the Babylon Empire, Babylonian Empire. The chest and arms of silver represents the Medo Persian Empire. The belly and thighs of bronze represents the Greek Empire, and the legs of iron represents the Roman Empire. Um, the historic Roman Empire became divided because it became too large to govern effectively. The western leg eventually fell, but the eastern leg continued as the Byzantine Empire for almost a thousand mm. more years. Mm. With the kingdom centered in Turkey, of all places, mm, Turkey. Yeah, that's that's becoming. Yeah, go on. Sorry, don't let me stop you. <laughs> the uh, Ottomans conquered the Byzantine Empire uh, near the turn of the 14th century, and ruled until the 1920s. Therefore, the two legs of iron in Nebuchadnezzar's dream represents the divided empire in Daniel 2:33. Uh, Daniel explains that the two feet mixed with iron and clay are part of the fourth kingdom in the dream. And specifically that is in Daniel chapter 2 verses 41 through 44. So we see that the Lord will destroy the fourth kingdom when he returns to set up his kingdom on earth. The Roman Empire eventually collapsed but was not conquered by any empire. Mm. Um, also, the Lord did not step uh, step up his kingdom after Rome collapsed. This shows that the Roman Empire and the Fourth Kingdom will reemerge in the end times, leading to the return of the Lord. The statue's feet mixed with iron and clay in Nebuchadnezzar's dream represents the revived Roman Empire. And based on based on Daniel nine twenty six, the Antichrist will rise out of this revived empire. Mm. Uh, the Romans destroyed Jerusalem 
and the Jewish temple. So the prince who is the Antichrist will be of the lineage of the people who destroyed the city and sanctuary. So the question is, who were the Romans? So that's what I started looking for. Who were the Romans? Okay. History shows that Rome granted certain cities in the empire a citizenship. An example of this is the Apostle Paul. He was a Roman citizen mm -hmm. because he the cities that was granted citizenship. And we see that in Acts 22, verses 25 through 28. Over time, Rome expanded citizenship to most of the empire. So we see mm -hmm. that Roman citizenship was not confined to Rome, but was granted to different people and groups throughout the whole empire. That uh, being the case, the people who destroyed the city and the sanctuary were Romans, but not necessarily from Rome. The people who destroyed the temple were under the leader leadership of Rome, uh, the Roman general Titus, but they were probably from uh, the area near Israel. Daniel also had a dream of the four beasts uh, that are the same as the four parts of the statue in Revelation 12, 3. These four kingdoms are the four horns who exiled the Jewish people from the southern kingdom of Judah. And you can see that in Zechariah chapter 1, verse 18 through 21. Uh, John describes the four beasts in Daniel's dream as having parts of the first three beasts. And that's you can find that in Daniel 7, verses 4 through 7, and Revelation 13, verses 1 and 2. The beast in John's vision represents both, both the revived Roman Empire and the fourth beast in Daniel's dream. And it also represents the Antichrist. As later verses describe these beasts as a king who rules over the revived kingdom, which is Revelation 13, 4 through 7, and Revelation 17, verses 8 through 14. The beast that represents the Antichrist and the revived Roman Empire has seven heads that represent seven kingdoms, which are also found on the dragon who gives the beast his power in Revelation 13, 2. Also in Revelation 12, 3. These seven kingdoms oppress the nation Israel and include the four kingdoms in Nebuchadnezzar's and Daniel's dreams. Wow. Wow. So, it would... Have a, Go on, sorry. Go. Have a on it. Uh, you want me to go on? Yeah, go on. I've, 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 I'm making notes. I'm, I'm drinking this in. Please go on for everybody. Yes. Yes. Uh, the Bible also indicates that the Antichrist will rule from Babylon. And you find that in Isaiah 14, which will be the capital of the world during the tribulation. In addition, Daniel calls the Antichrist king of the north referring to the rain uh, referring to the region north of Israel wow. the king earth could be one of the ten kingdoms of the revived Roman Empire or could be a smaller kingdom within the ten kingdoms because Daniel calls the Antichrist the king of the north yet he is not one of the ten horns of the revived Roman Empire but he's called the little horn that comes mm. up among them <laughs> who later gives the little horn their kingdom. And you find that in Revelation 17, 12 through 13, Daniel 7, verses 7 and 8, and Daniel 7, verses 24 through 26. In any event, the Antichrist will rule and reign north of Israel in the first part of tribulation, as Daniel calls him the king of the north. The beast appears to have aspects of all kingdoms who exiled the Jews from Israel. 
The Antichrist will not come from America since the Antichrist is of Roman origin. No U.S. president will qualify. Wow. Um, <laughs> some, yeah, some may say the U.S. is the new Roman Empire since they are a world power. However, the fourth beast in Daniel 7, including the Roman Empire, come up out of the great sea. Okay? Because mm. throughout the Bible, the great sea is referred to the Mediterranean Sea. Right. Or describing Israel's border to Joshua in Joshua 23, verse 6. God tells him that he has allotted Joshua from the Jordan to the great sea in the west. And also in Numbers 34, verse 6, God tells Moses the borders of future, the future land of Israel. When describing the western border, God says, you shall have the great sea and its coast. Therefore, the end times Roman Empire is situated around the Mediterranean Sea. And as a result, the Antichrist who leads the empire cannot be from the United States. Well, well, it answers it answers it, doesn't it? But more to the point, you know, it's pointing. <clears throat> Europe, by the way, is on the Mediterranean Sea. Yeah. Spain, okay, Italy, yeah. So, so that's just one to keep in our mind. But the Antichrist is from the north, right? Putin, yeah. It's, pot it's potential. Right. It's potential, isn't it? Right. I mean, this. What I'm finding is that what what you've managed to put there is given us focus, a more um, in depth focus of to where we're to be looking instead of looking all over the world, brothers right. and sisters. We need to know where this antichrist is going to come from, don't we? But this is helped me. I mean, it's in the Mediterranean area. Um, the the Antichrist is going to be, it's certainly going to be a connection with Russia, isn't it? It's certainly, it, it's got to be. Or is it going to be China, which is over that way? I, but it's, this is, it is eye open. I did read the notes. I did make some notes as well. But, you know, we need to explore the Antichrist. Um, right. Because he's always been here, hasn't he? As Jesus mm -hmm. said, he's always been here. But where is he going to rise into the end times is something that we should be able to see before rapture, I think. Don't you? I, I, I'm only guessing. Yeah. I think it's potential that we could see some of this stuff. Now we've got this information and can, and can build on it. So other than the Mediterranean connection, is there an EU connection in there anywhere, Ida? Well, yeah. it's, it's all... Uh north of israel and the eu is right there on the mediterranean so and north of israel i mean there's israel there's north of israel it could be anywhere along that line couldn't it you know right. which is europe right round to china isn't it you know? because a lot of these kingdoms were all one at one time bear in mind that um Noah's son, which one? Seth, was it? Married a yellow woman, a Chinese woman, wasn't it? Am I right? I think it? Go on. Uh, Jefferson. Uh, Jefferson. Yeah. Jefferson, yeah. I knew it was one. So there's a connection. <clears throat> and bear in mind that it's said by Ron Wyatt, uh, found the ark on Mount Ararat, which is up in the north of Israel. <laughs> it's. <laughs> The mountains of Ararat. Right. Or on Mount Ararat. So it's not uncommon to see that it's all happened in one area. And the reason I'm saying this is because I'm a firm believer that the judgments will come and fall upon Israel because the church is out, barring the, those that do not believe who still have a chance. God's um, patience and, and kindness gives them a chance to even turn within the tribulation to him. And obviously he's going to leave the, the Holy Spirit is going to be here for that. Else they could not turn, isn't it? <clears throat> but this is amazing. EU connection. Let's go for the US Mediterranean area, exploring the Antichrist. So according to that then, the, your studies then, the Antichrist is 
going to be Roman of Roman descent. But then I could be Roman descent, couldn't I? Right. Because right. My, my DNA comes from that area, the Mediterranean area, right. <clears throat> which, which was uh, Syria, Syria and Israel are all one land back then, right. you know, when that uh, DNA check was done. So I could be of Roman descent, really, couldn't I? I'm not claiming to be. I'm just saying it's it's potential when we're looking at the Roman Empire that they are all over the world as well, aren't they? As indeed right. the Jews are all over the world. So there's studies for your family. There's studies to add to these studies. <clears throat> um, what else have I got to ask? Yeah, that's from the north of Israel. Family. I'm going to have to go and study them notes properly now. <laughs> I'm going to have to read on that. <laughs> it's, but, you know, it is focusing us. People, there's so much um, out there that it's very hard to stay uh, and not be dizzy with the amount of information and snippets were coming out. And the hard study, which you've done and, and, and done a few times, three times we've, we've talked on Colab, and I think it's great. And, you know, guys out there, please let us know if it's a good idea. I love it. It's going to happen anyway. But we'd just like to know what you think about it. Um, the studies in the Berean. Who knows? We might even do a live before too long. <laughs> that would be fun. Art. <laughs> that's yeah. Throwing, that's throwing the, throwing the hat in, isn't it? Um, so it's, it's that. We're just studying. You're seeing the other side of Ida. Now, I just want to say subscribe to Ida. There is a card up here um, subscribe to Ida and at the end screen there is also on the end screen and there's a link in the description Ida puts out edifying Bible studies as well every day and throws in a little bit of the end time studies now and again <laughs> <laughs> a little. but I tell you she's a student and a lover of the first book in the Bible Ida read was Revelation First yeah. book we wrote was Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, wasn't it? So, it's <laughs> <laughs> so that's the roundup tonight with no real runoff or bottom line for you, but you can see we're looking for an antichrist from the northern kingdoms, okay, which will probably connect to Europe because it's in the Mediterranean area. And we know Turkey has applied to become a member of the EU, which is north of Israel. So, Focusing ourselves in to what we've done. Go back and take notes, brothers and sisters, on what I was doing. Take your time and do it. Uh, if you want to understand eschat uh, eschatology and a more accurate zoom in on what, what's happening. So, I, d I can't question you. You're unquestionable. I, I've <laughs> I can't fault that. Uh, the only thing I can only apologise that I didn't get a chance to read it properly and, and skim through it, but I will because it's going in the My Ida's File, I call it, okay, where all your stuff goes. If you want to see more of Ida's studies then and, and her Bible teachings, then join us on Discord. Link in the mm -hmm. description, the Disciple Server. Join us there, it's the Disciple app. It's an app for your phone, pad or anything, so you can use it. And it's 24-7 Fellowship. Um, do contact us if you can't get in. Leave a comment. And all I can do is leave you with that. May God bless you, keep you, and make his face to shine upon you, be gracious to you this day and always. Remember, we're going to be around the picnic basket. That's for sure. And we want you with us. So don't forget, if you want to know the Lord Jesus Christ, if you want to know the way to heaven, if you want to know the way to stay out of hell, then type in, I want to be saved, in the description, in the comments, and we'll get back to you. But we're just going to say good night from me and Ida, so it's good night from me. Good night. It's good night from <laughs> Ida. God bless everyone. Thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to both channels. God bless.